Everybody says they're the number one Jesse company in Miami, but we hold that title. At Domain Diego, shout out to Miriam, shout out to Jess, uh, Wavy Boats, Broncos Guru, everybody. I love you guys. And our crew's coming in. They look like they got a good approach angle. And our guy's getting on the stern to grab the stern line. Uh, uh, he's in the water. I, what? I don't. I couldn't tell if he fell or he actually jumped in, trying to grab the line for some reason. Maybe he lost the line. Oh, it's tough to tell from this angle. I'm not sure. But welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps Channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp. And today we are visiting 79th Street. And our guy, yeah, he's just hanging out in the water. He tossed the line up. So, I mean, I'm imagining it had to be tied to something. I have no clue why he went in. I, I, he had to fall. It just didn't look, it wasn't a very graceful fall. Like, it looked like almost intentional. Let me know in the comments what you think. And our crew is lining it up. But I see one big issue here. This boat has no freeboard whatsoever, and it is low tide. And at 79th, that always creates some interesting situations, as you can just tell how tall these docks are compared to where the tide level is. So our crew's got a good approach angle. Gonna give some hand signals like, hey, or is he asking for something else? Because she's looking for something. Oh, there we go. Another line. So our assistant was asking for lines from the stern. And I mean, at least they're ready. So let's see how our lady does as she tries to bring our dude in. Taking the nice slow roll approach, just in and out of throttle. Some guys can take some lessons from this. That's all you need, not consistent throttle. Little bump of forward, back to neutral. Little bump of forward, back to neutral. And that's gonna give you that correct speed to approach the dock at. And we're getting shot blocked a little bit here, but she's gonna have a good approach angle. But our boy, as I was saying, he can't get up. He can't step up onto the dock. Oh, oh, almost takes a swim. Same deal, we're gonna need the drop and roll. And that's what he's going to have to do to get it up. And our crew's lining it up for approach, and they look like they're ready to roll. We've got a couple people out on the gunnels, in the bow. So at least we've got some people on the ready. Making their approach. Good angle. Good speed. But something has happened here. Our guy's got his foot down, but we've lost forward motion. Did we lose a motor? Or did we lose both motors? I think somebody's in the water. <laughs> There's definitely somebody in the water now. I don't know if they dropped the line. And the boat's losing it. Oh, man. They've lost power. So if somebody jumped in the water, I'm assuming they're planning on swimming this thing into the dock. But don't fight the wind and current, bro. Go to the other dock. So on this one, that's definitely... I would have went the other way. Because right now, you're really... I mean, you can tell the struggle's real as he's going to try and pull this one over. But that is just a tough pull with a boat full of people. So he's made it over to the dock. Now he really just needs to try and hand this line off to somebody else. And we've got somebody, we've got the pull grab also. And I grab that pull and pull yourself in, my man. You guys gotta help my guy out a little bit here. And there we go, somebody's off. Toss him this line now and let him walk it up. So our crew, after a few minutes of messing around, they've got it on the dock, but somehow they've released a dock line. They've got no power. 
And of course, the wind and currents grabbing the bow, pulling them off the dock. So they need to get another line back from the bow up to the front to try and get this thing over. But now they're blocking two docks. They've let it drift all the way off. What in the world is happening here? And somebody's running back down the dock toward the boat. Is this Cap? And the motors are backing into the dock as well now. Somebody's in the water again. Somebody came off the dock into the water as the guy in the red trunks jumped onto the boat. And uh, did they get a motor started this time? I'm confused as to what's actually happening here in this scene. Like I said, somebody's back in the water. Okay, it appears we've got power, so they've got a motor on. So we don't need the guy back in the water trying to pull him up. He's going to swim out of the way now. Are we going to go to the other dock or are we going to back in? What? What in the world is going on here? So they've released the other line. So we still even had a stern line on the dock. Somebody's told him to release it. Hang on in the bow, bro. What is this mess? Some things we see down here at the boat ramp defy logic. I don't I don't know what anybody was thinking in this situation. Or maybe none of them were. I have to imagine there's some sort of mechanical issue there. Oh, everybody hang on. There's definitely something mechanical going on. So I'm not gonna blame them on the initial docking job. I mean we had to have somebody swim it up at the beginning, but everything that's happened since then, we probably can point fingers at somebody. And your easiest bet may be to switch docks, bro. Don't. No need to commit to four over there. I don't care if somebody's even backing down. If you're having mechanical trouble, you get the boat on the dock. But they're gonna. It looks like he's gonna try and turn it bow in and try and come back to four. This guy in the bow needs to hang on. My man's had a jerky throttle hand. And he looks pretty good. We got a line on the dock. It looks like it. And we've got a stern line in hand ready to roll. Somebody just needs to pull this thing forward. Oh, is that the this is a crazy mess. I'm still beyond words on how they don't have this boat pulled up yet. Somebody grab the rail, walk this thing up, and let's get this one buttoned up and out of here. And finally, that's the approach they're taking. And it looks like they should be good to go and hopefully able to get this one out of here now. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, does some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where me and a machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.